Have you ever wanted to analyse smaller sets of data within a large workbook or break down large sets of data into smaller parts? If you have, you would probably find it handy to convert your data into tables. That's exactly the issue Thomas Bradshaw is facing now at Westcal Publishing. Thomas has been tasked with analysing some sales figures. Westcal has a large amount of sales data, but Thomas needs to focus on smaller sets of data. This context is ideal for using tables and making use of Excel's powerful organisational capabilities without modifying the data itself. Using tables will help Thomas analyse the sales figures he's been asked to. Let's see how we will be able to accomplish that task. With this scenario in mind, by the end of this lesson you should be able to identify the components of a table, create a table using the Create Table dialog box, use and apply table styles as well as quick styles, and customise row display. So let's jump right into it and explore tables to see how Thomas can work smarter with smaller sets of data by creating, formatting and modifying tables. A table is a specially designated range of information that has added functionality. If you need to analyse smaller sets of data within a large workbook or break down large sets of data into smaller parts, then converting your data into tables is often the best solution. When you work with tables, you can use Excel's powerful organisational capabilities without modifying the data itself. With tables, you can narrow down specific data and focus on only the important information. Let's now take a closer look at tables. You can create tables from existing data ranges or from empty ranges and then populate them afterwards. When you create a table in Excel, it will automatically be given a generic name such as Table 1 or Table 2, depending on the number of tables present in your workbook. But don't worry, you can change these names at any time. You should also note that tables are flexible in that you can convert your table back to a normal range at any point without affecting the contents. A table is made from adjacent columns of data with a unique label or heading for each column. Columns and rows may be added to a table just as you would when working with a normal range. Keep in mind that each worksheet has a lot more rows than columns. This design is well suited for data organised in long adjacent lists like columns. Now to better understand tables, let's have a look at the components that come together to create a table. Now let's look at the table components. They make your table look more organised and easier to read. The table you just saw has some of its components selected. When you don't select any of the components, your table looks like a plain list of rows and columns. Let's start using some of the table components to see how different your table looks. First, let's look at the header row option. You can include a header row that displays the column headers or names for each column in your table by clicking the header row checkbox. For each header within the header row, you will see the header row drop down arrow. You can use it to access filter and sort commands. Now, when you're working with a large table, it may be hard to visualize and understand your data. But if you click the banded rows checkbox, you can easily differentiate between each row that appears within your table. Let's suppose you want to display the results of calculations that are done on a column by column basis. To accomplish that, you can click the total row checkbox. When you select Total Row, it also includes the Total Row drop-down arrow. If you click the drop-down arrow, you can quickly access functions that can perform calculations on your table data. Finally, if you want to emphasise the first column, you can select the First Column checkbox. This option applies a bold effect to the first column of your table to differentiate it from other columns. And if you apply the Last Column option, it will do the same thing to the last column of data. Now that you've seen what the table components are, let's explore how to create a table. Perhaps the easiest way to create a table is to use the Create Table dialog box to convert existing ranges of data into a table. To access this dialog box, select the cell range that you would like to convert into a table and then click Insert Table. This will open the Create Table dialog box. You will see the selected range using absolute cell references in the text box where is the data for your table. You can enter a different range into the provided field or select one with your mouse by clicking the Cell Selector button. If you click the My Table Has Headers checkbox, it indicates that the first row in the selected range contains column names. If your data does not have headers or column names, Excel inserts a header row and gives the columns generic names of column followed by a sequential number. When you click the OK button, Excel converts the selected cell range into a table.